He just rocked onto his back foot, coming forward initially, and, well, look at that. For the moment it left the bat. So, 183 now, four short of the New Zealand uh, total of 187. Sweet, a funny sort of a shot. He tried to catch up with it almost. Got that front foot across and it got through and hit the leg stump. So the skipper is gone. Shane Thompson has claimed his wicket. Well, he tried to hit it too fine and just missed it completely. Bowled round his legs. You don't normally see that from over the wicket. Well done, Shane Thompson. Great breakthrough. So 183 for five, India. So Kapil Dev. Yeah, great. Indian fast bowler, world record holder, is coming up to bat. But he's not going to pace because that was the last ball of the over from Shane Thompson. Well, here we have it from the side on view. And you can see that Azradeen was trying to sweep that ball very finely. Just help it on its way. Oh, ball. Oh, ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a bit of mis misunderstanding here. There's a lot of uh, yelling between the batsmen, but they get it sorted out, get through for one. Ryan Drake are picking up one. So Kapil Dev on strike. And here we see it from stump vision, and you can see, well, it was on about middle stump line. It was far too straight to play that shot. He had to make contact. I think it just brushed his back pad on the way through, but a delighted Shane Thompson, delighted New Zealand team. Yes, he got a little confused, I think, John. The length was wrong and the line, and uh, he seemed committed to a sweep shot and then realised it wasn't on, but continued uh, on that tack, and the end result was out. So, Kapil Dev, his first ball. A loud appeal, and that just uh, went on with the arm. Kapil Dev quietly forward with the pad. Oh, this, is, this is very close may be marginally outside the off stump but trying to play a shot but it's one of those shots that really you know he's probably not like trying that, to get fella. the bat on ball oh, this time good. bat on ball and interestingly enough Capital Dev had quite man, a long Eddie. session facing the bowling machine uh, down under oh, the fella, pavilion here in the here. indoor wicket so uh, plenty of practice see if uh, it's worked very graceful player. Ball, oh, good. Again, quietly forward. Not too much turn for Matthew Hart. Just a hint of it. Matthew Hart, very young and experienced. Learning his trade and certainly bowling very well. Just padding off. Slight cry of catch it, but uh, the bat was nowhere near it. Lovely flight. Capital Dev, beautiful stance. Very, very relaxed at the wicket. Quietly forward again to end the over at 184 for five. It's a sense that he's just lining it up here. He's looking he's a bit anxious. Isn't he? He's decided that he'll just uh, have a look for a moment or two. But believe me, if he decides to get after it, look out, there's the highest score, 163 at Kanpur. So he's off the mark, Kapil Dev, and uh, it's 187 for five. very firmly with a big flourish of the bat but just one run so India uh, in credit now interesting field on the onside for Thompson with a bat patter and a man at short wicket too just flicking it fine it's going to be profitable for Mandraker very profitable. He hit it very well indeed. It seemed that as if he was just paddling it around, but he hit it with good timing. Yes, the line of this, though, is questionable. Look at it. It's very much, it's pitching about off stump, and it may well have hit leg stump if it, uh, if he hadn't made a connection or it took him on the pad. In other words, he's prepared to sweep 
the length rather than the line. Normally, if it's going down leg side, it's more sweepable. However, he takes four for the shot. Bowling. Good then, turns up. Sanjay Mandraka's first boundary. Oh. Just starting to move into his strokes now. He, he really has a wonderful array of strokes all around the ground. An elegant player. He strokes rather than blasts the ball. And that's the deep uh, backward square who's on the sweep position. Tom. It was interesting to watch the keeper going way down leg side there, even though the ball was fairly uh, much on middle and off. But Adam Perori making good ground to his left. Oh, ready, ready, ready. 194 for five. Over. And there's 200 with Kapil Dev working it fine again. Doing it with subtlety at the moment. It's 201 for five as Kapil Dev picks up a couple. And the over comes to an end. And uh, drinks have been signaled onto the field by the umpires. 204 for five. And now it's uh, Shane Thompson. New Zealand's other spinner. And Kapil Dev goes after it for the first time, and it's close to being six, and yes, it is six. The umpire will wait. No, he signaled four, but it looked to me as though it went over the boundary. Well, Kapil Dev's been a bit hard done by here. We waited, we wondered when he was going to go after it, and he did. He really didn't put it all his effort into that. There's a lot of timing involved, and we'll clearly see that this has gone over the line by at least a foot and a half. Well, it's a bit hard to see on that angle, but I assure you it has. The spectators agree. And umpire Brian Aldridge is now asking. It hasn't changed the signal at this point. I don't think the fieldsman down there would know. Dion Nash was a long way from it. And there we have it. So it's six. Been changed to six, and uh, it certainly was. And as a result of that, the fieldsman has been dispatched way down to that area. So he gets a full toss this time. And uh, two further runs as Blair Hartland chases back. Well, we heard in the previous over, Adam Brewery telling everybody that uh, they wanted another wicket before the new ball. Capital Dev might have taken that to heart. See there, Dion Nash, way down in the deep. Capital Dev will be well aware of that. Oh. Just going down the leg side, no appeal. Yes, it didn't bounce really. Kapil Dev uh, just hurried up a wee bit too, played across it. Ball going down leg side, so no danger of the LBW. Ball catching. Well, we may not see that ball much longer. This is the 85th over, so the new ball is due at the end of this over. just holding Shane Thompson off for a moment as he removes something off the pitch <coughs> Danny Morrison warming up we may see him next over <laughs> yep you little blokes these wicket keepers in aren't they they have a habit of being that way. It's uh, supposed to be part of the job, to be encouraging the, full, the whole time. It's easy to let heads go down in these sorts of situations. Well, Tom. End of the over. 85 overs have now been bowled. It's 212 for five. from Ken Rutherford of that delivery from Dion Nash. Nash without a wicket so far. Okay. 
Snow Mandrake, the man on strike. He's been out there for a long time now for his 23. But in terms of experience, he hasn't got half of that. The batsman at the other end, Capel Dev. Matthew Hart fan club down on the boundary, one of which is his Northern Districts coach in the hat there, that's Carl Trever. Attempted Yorker bowl by Nash, but nicely turned by Mandraker. And Chris Pringle goes lumbering after it. And they get a couple. This as well, Chris Pringle looks like he'd be going to England because I'm not sure he'd be going to Commonwealth Games in any capacity. <laughs> District's coach. He's a real character. Comes from the Northland province. Fine player in his own right in his day as well. Nicely played away back with a point this time by Mandraker for yet another single. Nash, I think, attempting a slower ball on that occasion. So he's. Uh, very solidly Sanjay Mandraker the New Zealanders probably fancy their chances at Capel Dev with the new ball he's got 18 yeah. and that's caught and beautifully caught too by Stephen Fleming excellent piece of fielding Nash has the wicket and Capel Dev is out Dev has looked to force through this through the onside. It was in the slot. And his placement hasn't been too good. He's hit it in the air deliberately. And Fleming's picked up a very good catch about ankle height. And the New Zealanders are quite jubilant because they know they've got the danger man out of the picture. Dev's gone for 18. India 216 for 6. is the new batsman for India with the dismissal of Kapil Dev. 216 for six. And we have a change in the commentary now. John Wright and John Morrison. Thank you, Grant. Well, that was an important breakthrough for New Zealand. Danger man Kapil Dev out. Danny Morrison with the new over. And a single scurrying through. And there's an overthrow here. They may get two more. They've certainly got one more, and yes, they turn to come back again. So three runs in all. Well, Danny Morrison won't be entirely thrilled about that. The only benefit that resulted from that little piece of action is that he's got a chance to bowl at the new batsman, Cumbly. So there he is there, the leg spinner, taking the place of Capel Dev and he's here because of this dismissal. Well that's a sharp, sharp little chance there picked up. No fuss, no bother by the debutante. Very relaxed wasn't it? Yes, very much so and uh, he's done well on the field. He uh, affected that run out when he threw the stumps down at the bowler's end earlier on in the day and picked up that very uh, smart catch forward square. So here we are, the new man, Kumble, on strike. And I gather Johnny, and he's off the mark immediately, so he'll be pleased. He's underway. He did cop a few bounces down at Dunedin, apparently, and was a, a little suspect. Well, it's still quite ch chilly here in Hamilton. It's well wrapped up, protected not only from the wind, from the sun. They're a little bit braver, aren't they? <laughs> Must come from southern parts.